Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is all about the year of 2022. How certain major transits are going to impact your life path and overall well-being. So this video is for the Taurus people. If you have your ascendant moon, sun in Taurus or in the nakshatra of Kritika, the second, third, fourth pada of Kritika, Rohini nakshatra and the first, second pada of Mrigashara, then this analysis might help you. It may guide you for the year of 2022. And this analysis is not just based on the um, planetary transits, the sidereal transits, but also we will be looking into some oracle cards to understand what are you manifesting in 2022? What are changes you must do to reach to your goals? So this is going to be very interesting. And please do remember that everyone has a different horoscope. This is a very general reading and it might resonate to you. It might not. So just take what, whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's begin. For Taurus Ascendant in 2022, Rahu will move away from the first house and it will move into the 12th house in Aries, which means moving away from your home to find better opportunities or simply moving away from your comfort zone to find who you truly are, moving away from the current situation to fulfill your ambitions and desires. The major theme for 2022 is to redesign your life. So yes, there will be new plans and strategies, but everything is happening behind the closed doors. You may seek privacy at this time. Or simply you want to uh, conceal certain personal issues from the world or whatever you are doing now, you cannot declare this. Rahu is the co-lord of the 10th house. And it's traveling from the 12th house and just opposite to it there is ketu in the sixth house in libra so it's bringing the desperate need to grow at work front no it's not just the matter of money but it's about identity and worth you are connecting your identity with your work rahu will bring recognition but also some people may gossip about you behind your back because with Ketu in the sixth house, you are struggling with some enemies. You might even uh, not be aware of this person that, you know, she might be your friend. He might be your friend and you are not aware of their intentions. And you are dealing with some opposition. This person might be very secretive. So you are competing with someone. Someone out there is throwing you out of balance. And it could be a reason why you have to constantly grow. You know, you want to grow exponentially. You want success because you want to show others how capable you are. So you want to get rid of maybe a health issue, maybe a financial debt, or you want to get rid of the imbalance which is created by someone who is against you. Health needs to be your main priority in 2022. Jupiter is now moving away from Aquarius. It's moving away from your 10th house. It will transit from the 11th house in Pisces. So this is going to bring some major expansion in finances, sudden and unexpected expansion and also it will bring more upliftment at the work front. No matter how difficult things are, you will gain something out of it unexpectedly. And there are certain bonds, maybe a partnership or maybe a friendship, which is constantly keeping you under stress. It is leaving you confused. So don't let that situation impact your decision-making ability. Do not get impulsive in that process. Planet Saturn will continue to transit from Capricorn, that is your ninth house. For a short period of time, it will go into your 10th house in Aquarius. So Saturn is now bringing a closure 
like now you are done with learning something you are done with working on a skill you are done with a certain pattern now you are ready to make a very strong power move at the work front it's time to use your lessons as wisdom this is the time when you will use your each and every good and bad experience to create a better path so professionally a major decision is being made in 2022 For Krithika Nakshatra it's time to stop hurting yourself because of other people emotionally there is a lot to release in 2022 because with this thought process you might not be able to use your powers and skills efficiently and unexpected expenditures might be there for Rohini responsibilities at the work front are expanding other people may have too much of expectations from you especially at the work front and you may feel a bit nervous professionally you may feel that everyone is watching your each and every move and you are under the radar of many people but they are watching you because you are doing good you are uh, bringing a different energy different um the perspective at the work front and long distance journey may happen because of work maybe just because of adventure you want to um, explore a different place a different um, energy from regashara you need to be careful while making new contracts or associations only agree when you know that you will be able to complete that work on time do not make promises just like uh blindly you cannot say yes to everyone so be careful with that and yeah you need to confront certain relationships it could be your relatives it could be your family members it could be a loved one you cannot avoid this person in 2022 you need to fight back or it's just that you know you you have to confront this person it's very important you cannot um treat yourself as a weak person for taurus ascendant now let's look into these oracle cards to understand what are you attracting and manifesting in 2022 so the very first card is full moon in taurus it says detoxify so it very well goes with your ascendant which is itself ruled by taurus and also how rahu is now moving away from taurus and moving into aries so yeah we have two cards which very well resonate the transition from taurus to aries how rahu is changing its path so detoxify yourself that is the first message coming to you things are getting a bit intense yes rahu moving into your 12th house it's happening so take care of your head space take care of your mental health your manifestation affirmation is i express love and love come back to me what i give as what i receive this is something which you need to remember and there's a need to release negativity release the drama and the need to be you know appreciated by everyone or uh, stop being obsessive about something maybe a relationship spiritual and emotional uh, detox is indicated you need to detoxify yourself so that you can enter into a new phase cool down your emotions because you have to shine you have to show your skills your aura your power how special you are but for that you need to you know travel from these two stages to the third stage you have to start from here and come to this final place so balancing yourself balancing your emotions is very important you may get a bit over emotional 
things may go out of balance. So detoxify and nourish yourself. Nourish your mind, nourish your body. And yes, good eating habits should be maintained. The next card is full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. So it very well goes with Rahu in the 12th house in Aries. It shows you need to cool down. If you want to achieve something, if you want to succeed, it's important to be a bit calm and then make important decisions. So you are manifesting a balance between you, you, you and me, me, me. This means again, self fighting with what is not self. Fighting with people who are not letting you to be the best version of yourself. Because right there in the sixth house, there is Ketu in Libra. Someone out there throwing you out of balance, leading to intense feelings. You cannot hide it. You cannot pretend that everything is okay. There is no intense feelings. Yes, they are. And you need to rise above those feelings. You are unable to express something in 2022. Do not, you know, block your mind with a lot of thought process. Expression is very important. Whatever you express, do not use anger for that. Use your words, use your actions, but it should not be anger. It should not be something which is impulsive or aggressive. And, you know, these intense feelings are blocking your ability to manifest. You need to work through your feelings. Whosoever is involved right now in your issue, whosoever is bothering you, you must forgive this person and also forgive yourself. Holding on to anger won't do any good. Cooling your emotions, taking your decisions peacefully is very important. So yes, tame your anger, tame your intense emotions, so important and this will lead to something more beautiful. New moon in Leo and it says shine. This card says sometimes we have to fake until we make it. And that's okay too. Ketu in the sixth house, Libra sign. And Venus is also your first lord. So when you are unsure, when you are in fear or you feel weak, pretend that you are strong. In your relationships, you need respect in 2022. This is something which you want. A situation regarding a relationship, a partnership, or children, or maybe, you know, a very important friendship may require confidence. Whomsoever you are dealing with, you have to be confident. Constant trying to make others happy and losing yourself in this process is also a problem which you need to get rid in 2022. You will be very creative and you will use your creative power to great heights. So this is bringing creative success and you will shine at the work front as well. 